Greg George here, and due to the popularity of my last How to Make Sushi video, I thought, you know, if I don't make my favorite sushi meal, I'm doing a disservice to all my friends in the social networking world. So I'm coming here today via video to share with you how to make spicy tuna roll. And the first thing I want you to know about making sushi at home is you must have the right materials. The first material you must have, or the apparatus, is a 30 to rice cooker. That's all it takes. You gotta have the right rice. You can't buy this at a grocery store. Go to an oriental market of some sort and buy some sushi rice. Get some Japanese vinegar, of course. This brand name's awesome. You must mix that with the rice. And then have some uh, Japanese mayonnaise and some Japanese hot sauce for this particular dish, which is my spicy tuna roll. Of course, you gotta have some veggies, which are cucumbers and scallions. And then, of course, to top it off, Gotta have some soy sauce, my favorite, and the old top off of sesame seeds. And then the last thing you must have to make all these come together is your uh, wraps. So with that being said, I'm gonna get right to it. If you don't mind, please, um, Zach, if you don't mind, come down on the um, table here and let me just show how easy it is to make spicy tuna roll. All right, folks, I've already put all this together, kind of like emerald would be. I'm not emerald, but I got it together. So basically, I'm gonna take my uh, rice that I've already pre-prepared. I'm going to put that on my wrap. I'm simply going to take my pre-prepared uh, spicy tuna mix is the best word for it. Put that all together and again to make that mix I've taken tuna, I've taken scallions, and then all i got to do is throw some cucumbers on there. Excuse me Zach, I'll, I'll come right back in the picture. I like to uh, have a clean roll here and then Simply Zach, you just take that and you just roll that and push it, roll and push it. There's apparatuses out there, folks, to make a little slicker roll than mine, but hey, I've been doing this for several years, so I know the program. I could also probably uh, part-time as a sushi chef. And then you just must always have a sharp knife, Zach, as you see here. Just take that, boom, 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 boom. You know what I got there, folks? I got a nice little spicy tuna roll. And trust me, this is to die for. Zach, a little close up on that. I just went ahead like the people on TV do. That is going to be a kill dish. Then, folks, if you put this with it, throw a little wasabi on there, and then, Zach, bring that camera right up and put a little sake on top of it, you're going to have an incredible evening. I hope you enjoyed this video. God bless you. And uh, look for our next video on how to make something in the George household. Thank you.